This video is brought to you by ClipFlip, the app that pays you money to make helpful videos on your iPhone or Android phone. Check them out at www.clipflip.com. Got a little Swedish there. Yeah. Hello guys, what is up? It is iPod Touch Bob, and today I'm going to come back to you guys with another review, and this is going to be a review of the MLG Pro Circuit controller for the Xbox 360, uh, made by Mad Cats. Now this controller retails for $99.99, it can be found on the Game Shark uh, store. I'll put a link down below to the website where you can pick this product up from. It's a really cool customizable controller, uh, specifically di designed for the Xbox 360, but you can also buy a PS3 version just to let you guys know. So anyways, let's just go ahead and jump right into my full review. Alright, so inside the packaging when you purchase this controller, you're going to get a bunch of different accessories to go with it. Now obviously the first thing you're going to get is the controller itself. We'll just take a quick look at it right now because we're going to take a more in-depth look at it later on in the video, but it looks pretty nice right there. Let's go ahead and take a look at what else comes in the box. Alright, so the first thing you're going to get besides the controller is the actual manual for the product. It shows you what, how to use this controller, how to set it up, and how everything goes with the controller. Next up is the microphone adapter for this controller. Now this controller is compatible with the original microphone headset that you use just to like voice chat, but if you use Turtle Beaches or a Triton headset, it's not going to be compatible with this controller. So this adapter makes the controller compatible with any type of headset that you might possibly have. Alright, so the next thing is actually an essential part to the controller, and that would be the wire. This is a wired controller, and it does have a really nice wire, which is a braided cable that is 3 meters long. Um, now this thing is really high quality, it's got even got a gold plated USB cable that goes directly into your Xbox. Um, but it's really nice because it's USB and makes sure that you don't get any latency and you don't drop out during your gameplay. So it's going to always be there for you no matter what. No batteries in or anything like that. But the cable is really, really nice. It's super high quality. One of the best cables that I've ever used. Alright, like I said, this controller is really customizable, so you're actually going to get PS3 accessories to go with this. So you're going to get the classic PS3 thumbsticks that are on the PlayStation 3 controllers, and you're also going to get the PlayStation 3 D-pad, which has the individual buttons, and unlike the Xbox one, which has all of them connected. Now also in the box you're going to get different faceplates. This controller, like I said, is very customizable. So you're going to get an extra faceplate set. Uh, this is a glossy fa faceplate set. It comes originally with the matte and the glossy. So these are the two ones that you're going to get. The matte is on the controller originally, but you can also put on the glossy finish ones, which uh, get a little bit more fingerprints, but are a lot more shiny. Alright, so finally, the last thing you're going to get in the packaging is a carrying pouch. Now, they call this a Pro Case. It's a really nice carrying case that's MLG branded. It has a nice rugged outside, so it's not going to get scratched up or anything like that. And when you open it up, you're going to get a felt lining on the inside, so any of the accessories or controller that you put in there is not going to get scratched. Now, this is great for carrying your controller to MLG events or just taking it over to a friend's house. It'll keep your controller safe and all your accessories inside of it. Alright, so now let's take a closer look at the controller itself. As you can see, it has a really nice matte finish to it with your A, B, Y, and X buttons on there. These are your standard Xbox buttons. Um, these are actually not inter interchangeable on the controller, but it's not a big deal because I think they look really nice. I like the colors on them. They look cooler than the PS3 in my opinion. Now on the front, you're going to get your start button, you're going to get your back button, and you're going to get your Xbox button. These are all standard on the regular Xbox controller, so nothing different there, just their position. Um, and then if you flip it up top, you're going to get your right bumper, your left right trigger your left button and your left trigger uh, these are all standard as well and then up top we're also going to get our wired connection for the controller now I'm going to show you a little bit of the customization of this controller as you can see I'm completely just tearing the face plates right off the controller and as you can see on the inside you can pretty much see on the inside of the controller you can see a little bit of the wiring on the inside and now I'm going to take off these thumbsticks and the d-pad basically you just twist them off there's a white line on each d-pad and thumbstick so you just twist it off and line it up with the arrow and you can pull them right out now this allows you to place them anywhere you want, so I'm going to go ahead and put the PS3 um, thumbsticks and the D-pad on the controller. And keep in mind this is an Xbox controller, so I'm putting PS3 stuff on there, which is really cool. So just line that line up with the arrow and then twist it and it'll lock in. You do this for all of them and you can put the buttons wherever you want, which is really nice. So I can put the thumbsticks up top 
on the bottom wherever I want to put them and they'll work from every single position so this is really customizable and just allows you to do anything you want with the controller uh, make it fit to your to what you're comfortable with which is really nice and then to put the different face plates on you just sort of pop them off and they have magnets and then you put the other ones back on it's really simple and this controller makes it easy to customize it to make it however you want to make it to make it where you're most comfortable with it which makes it really nice and as you can see the glossy finish on the controller looks really cool so you can put whatever face plate you want on there and just make it your own all right, so if this controller wasn't already customizable enough, you can actually even customize the weight of the controller. So in the back where the batteries would be if you had a wireless controller, there is some weights. Now these are both uh, 35 gram weights on the back and they're actually removable so you can take them out of the housing um, and make the Xbox controller uh, more lightweight. Now if you have the weights in, that actually makes it feel like you have a wireless controller, but if you have them out, then that makes it feel like a wired controller. Um, this also comes with an accessory that allows you to cover up where the weights would be and make it feel like a wired controller. So I mean, this controller is completely customizable. You can even customize the weight. That's freaking awesome. All right, so overall, this controller is a complete beast. Uh, I love the fact that you can customize this completely to your liking. You can change the face plates, the weight of the controller, uh, the thumbsticks, and the D-pad, and just completely make this controller your own, give it your own look, and what make it however you want it to be. Um, so I definitely recommend it. The only downfall, in my opinion, the only thing that I could find wrong with it that I didn't like was the placement of the back and the start button because whenever I play Call of Duty, it's a little hard to reach. It's harder to reach up there than it is on the regular Xbox controller, but that is just me nitpicking. That's not really a big deal at all. So if you're looking for a controller and you're an Xbox 360 gamer, I can give this a 10 out of 10. Definitely recommend it. It's a great controller and really easy to use and to get good gameplays with or play games with it's really easy to use and get used to not sure about the ps3 but i'm sure it's just as good there'll be a link down below to their website if you want to check this product out and maybe purchase it and also check out all their other products uh there'll be a link down below just check down there and you can find it so thanks for watching guys hope you enjoyed the video if you did make sure to leave a thumbs up and comment on the video i definitely appreciate those and if you want to subscribe please feel free to hit that subscribe button up there thanks for watching that's all i got for you guys today and i'll catch you in my next video see ya